Hello and welcome to Around the Penny. Another trading day is complete and we're here to update you on all the latest news in the penny stock market. I'm Stephanie. Let's take a walk around the penny. All right, let's review a couple of the bulls the market had to offer today, starting with High Score Corporation, symbol HSCOD. What a monster day the equity had, launching over 163% on a volume of over 62 million shares. Traders heard about their press release this morning and jumped all over this eco-friendly lighting supplier. The company announced they have been accepted as a vendor by the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey. The PR didn't go into specifics, but there is speculation that the projects will be in the high six-figure range. Range. This is great news for the company who has been struggling of late. In early March, Highscore saw a drop of 900% in a two-week span and has been stuck there ever since until today's rally. It's also of value to report that today is the highest volume the stock has seen in over 12 months. All around, solid day for Highscore. Let's move along to the agricultural equipment manufacturer Titan Holdings Incorporated, symbol TYTN. After starting the day on the decline, they were able to bounce back and rally nearly 7 17% on over 143 million shares. Shareholders were hoping for a big time rally but will still settle with today's numbers. They did have a brief power hour rally but that was lost right before the market closed. We now focus our attention on the market's bears and we start with Calbay International, symbol CBYI. After a quick rally to start the day, the equity quickly took a turn to the downside and never recovered. The real estate developer ended the day falling 25% on just over 172 million shares. Yesterday there was a press release about Cal Bay regarding how the company is being covered by the website EmergingGreenCompanies.com. Cal Bay has had a nice past couple of weeks as they've seen the highest share price since June of last year. They do, however, have the OTC stop sign for no info and haven't posted financials since May of last year. Let's now take a look at Green Star Energy, symbol GSRE. The company owns and operates oil producing wells. It was definitely a day to forget as the equity fell over 28% on over 75 million shares. But things get even worse for these guys. This afternoon, the company announced that a merger with North Texas Energy was not completed. This really got traders furious. On January 18th, Green Star announced the takeover of North Texas Energy was completed. Some three and a half months later, the company now states that the deal didn't go through. The mood in message boards is very hostile towards GSRE, as traders felt like this was one big scam. Chat rooms were big on Elite Pharmaceuticals, symbol ELTP. The company develops oral medications. Last week, they announced the first shipment of their generic appetite suppressant medication. It opened at a little over 12 cents and had a high of 0.228 and a low of 0.122. It climbed up over 67% on just under 56 million shares, closing the day at 0.197. Mundus Group Incorporated, symbol MNDP, made a big splash in chat rooms. The aerospace technology company had news out today. They announced that their subsidiary, Goki Manufacturing Group, is building a custom tandem motorcycle. The cycle can hit speeds of up to 200 miles per hour. But the stock stalled today opening at 0 .0001 and staying there most of the day. It saw a high of 0 .0002 for a few moments but stayed flat on over 616 million shares. The quote of the day comes courtesy of Daytrader5674 who said, You can turn off the sun but I'm still gonna shine. Who are you, John Denver? Let's check out our newsletter radar. One newsletter was pushing First American Silver Corporation, symbol FASV. The company works in exploration and development of silver properties in the United States. Last month they announced that their company info would be made available on Standard & Poor's market access program, but the stock didn't have a very good day today. It opened at $1.04 and fell close to 5% on just over 200,000 shares, closing at a dollar. Less than a month ago it hit a high price of $1.35. The volume also peaked at over 2.2 million shares. Obviously things haven't panned out so well since then. It looks like this sick puppy needs some medicine quick. 
Artifarm Global Corporation, symbol ARGC, had a really good day today with a rally of 240% on a volume of only 1,000. The company has acquired the patent and worldwide marketing rights for ArtQuick, an anti-malaria drug. The last major news they had out was in July of last year. At that time, they retracted a statement that a major humanitarian organization was getting involved with their project. In August, they received a cease trade order, which was revoked in November. A lot of mystery and confusion are surrounding this stock, so we're stamping it with our BS trophy of the day. That's all the time we have for today. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to visit our homepage, simplypennies.com, for more penny stock information. You can also find us online at Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube for Around the Penny. I'm Stephanie. Good night. All right, let's review a couple ways that sounded awkward. This all right, I knew this was going to f*** me up. <laughs>